Hello, welcome to a new video where we look at a new library by Keep Forest Instruments called Breakout Devastator or Devastator Breakout Core and Pro. So this is the website. But first of all, let's have a look at contact. So you can use the play version. You don't have to use the full version. And you see here are a lot of folder. We just have one page for Breakout Pro, but let's have a look at the core version. The core version has got 14 different folder and let's check the first one called Hits. And here we've got the organic hits. And as you heard, some are hits and some have a swoosh before it. And perhaps you just want to have them as hits. So I can go to this one sample and now move the start point. And now just use from hit. Very easy. And you don't have to do it on your own at every single sample. I just do it at another sample. And now I press and hold the Alt key, then press from hit. And now it's done for every sample. That's great and saves a lot of time. And you can use the, the random sample start. And I will use it later. So we've got here the volume. Next is the panning. And the uh, LFO. You see, it's something like a guitar or stutter effect and you can change how fast it is going. And here we've got the cutoff. Okay, so this is the mid. Here at the left side, we've got the filter. It's a funny behavior because you see, I've turned it down to 20 hertz. And for me, it sounds not like a filter. So when I use another filter, let's say we take the Simplon. And now we go here to 20 hertz. Let's try it. You hear nearly nothing here, 20 hertz. and 20 hertz here. So something is going wrong here. Okay, so we've got another filter, we've got the high pass. And at the right side, you can see the stretch mode. So when we are at the normal mode, now I can play the sample. Let's try another one. And now I change the pitch with the left part of the keyboard.
And I use a master keyboard with 88 keys and I can't go lower. So I'm very happy to have an additional keyboard, the Cork Tactile with 25 keys and just used the octave down button a few times. So now I can have access to all these key switches. And I guess you can hear it's not time stretching or pitch shifting. It's just going down. When it's going down, it's going slower. And when you go higher, it's going faster. Okay, now what's about the stretch mode? When I've chosen the sample, I go to stretch mode. And now I can play it here. I can go to the settings. Here I can change the root key. Let's stay here and change the low note and the high note so I can expand the key range. So I always had the same velocity and I can change it by using velocity sensitivity. And at the left side, we've got the reverb. Now it's turned on and we've got a lot of impulse responsive. Let's try noise tail 10. And what I like here that we got one knob for the dry signal and the one for the wet. In the right side, we've got the envelope. I guess nothing new for you. So let's go to the rhythm and I turn on the first step sequencer. And we've got the machine gun. Let's turn off the reverb. And here we can create a rhythm. Let's do something like this. And now uh, I go to the sample. And here we say random sample start, just a little bit. And next is I want to change release sustain down and let's play with the decay. And we got more here. Uh, let's do this. So here we've got now two steps. Or three, four, and we can have more steps. We can go till uh, 16. Let's stay here at eight. We can change the frequency. And the tempo, and here is the velocity sensitivity. And we've got more. Now let's go to the panning. And I can do this and this. Yes. 
but I can randomize it. And next with the filter. And at last we can change the pitch. So this is the rhythm and you can randomize it, you can save tables and so on. Here are a lot of presets and you can save your own things and you can move it like this. So this is great. And when you have got a rhythm you like, just go to Get MIDI and then drag and drop this one into your door. Done. And you can use this MIDI file with other uh, synths, Larry's and so on. So now we've got this little part. Let's go to main and here reduce it to and now we got the effects tab. Here you can use seven slots and what I really like when you use one, um, one effect, you can use multiple times. You say it's normal, well not at every contact library. So at first Let's try saturation. And next we take the lo-fi effect. And what I miss here is you don't have a mix knob. So you can't mix the wet and the dry signal and you can't do parallel processing. It's just this one setting. Okay, next let's add some delay. And uh, we choose the modern delay. And the time is uh, very strange because we've got milliseconds and I would like to have music rated. So let's go to here and here we've got eighth and other things. So let's go to eight dot and add the signal slowly. And now let's go to ping pong. And I would like to change the order. I would like to have first delay and then saturation and lo-fi. And you can't drag and drop them, but you can press this arrow and then it jumps to the next slot. And here you can save your settings for every effect. And here we've got a lot of presets too. So next, this was just one patch. Let's check out the next patch called White Hit. And 
the next one called Epic Tide. Now I don't play all of the sounds because then this video will be more than 10 hours. Um, yeah, some sounds are really so, sounds very really similar, and it's it's okay. But I would like to have them at one patch to play them one time. So let's go to the next category: the booms. And let's try this one. Oh, this one. And you hear we've got very punchy boom sound. So I want to have a softer one. Let's do this. And I didn't like the filter. So let's try the effects here. And uh, do we have a filter here? I I hope so. Yes, here we have got the low pass. Yes, this is a low pass. Okay, so here we've got great booms. Next are the noise tails and verbs. Really nice sounds. Next are the reverb tails. Sounds very similar to me. So I guess I just would use <laughs> three samples. And now let's go to the next patch, the saturated tails. So do you hear any big difference? Just leave a comment and write me uh, what do you think about this. Here we've got the massive slams, organic massive slam. Yeah, different but not as big as thought. Okay, let's go to the next folder. Here we've got the drums. And now the interface has another look. Most of the time we've got the same look as uh, shown you. And now here we've got the drums. Strange because I, I had to find where is the snare. Oh, you can see it here. So let's add the hi-hat, I want to have the hi-hat F, uh, at uh, F sharp. Do we have F sharp? Yes, here. Now I go to setting and I've chosen the right one. Let's go to here and I want to have the uh, hi-hat and I don't want to hear it every time. Oh, yes. Okay, now. This one? Yes. Mm, 
No. How? How do I do it? The hat number nine, I guess. I did the double click and oh, now it worked. Okay, and here you've got settings like volume, panning, tune, and the filter. The envelope and transient shaper. Let's try another sound here. Yeah, can be a lot of fun. Great is that you have the choke group when you're working with Hyatt's. So the open Hyatt is closing when you use the um, the open height is closing when you use the close height. Yes. Okay. So you got kick, snare, toms, taikos, hits, heads, cymbals, percussion, TikTok, metals, liquid crunch, guns and handles. So. Let's try what is TikTok. And we'll have a look at this later. So, and we can have a random kit. You got this here and here. Okay, let's try it. And we've got a lot of different presets here. Modern trap, hybrid hip hop. So let's try the hybrid hip hop. And we've got more. So let's try modern rock. Well, it's not really rock, but it's not that kind of sound. Now you have got access to all the different sounds. Here we've got gun handling and let's check the kicks. And you see now we've got the normal interface. Oh yeah, we are in stretch mode. Why? Again, I think the sounds are very similar. So what do you think? Just leave a comment. I'm very interested in your opinion. Let's go further to the snares and we uh, choose the next patch, uh, the second patch. Very interesting. And what? is TikTok. Later we'll have a look at the TikTok loops. They are great. So we go to the RR Robert drums. This means round robin. And here is rhythm activated. So let's turn it off. And you can see here are nine round robins.
funny why this one is not going to yellow. I guess the fourth one is missing. So let's try another key. Here we've got 16 round robins. And this really makes sense. So let's try the uh, percussion. And here uh, you can't turn off the Ron Robbins when you don't like him. Just live with the Ron Robbins you got here. It's okay. So next are the drum loops. And you see we've got different colored uh, keys. And now I'll show you, show you something. We've got 120 BPM. I change it to 80. You can see that the playback stops because this is not working with time stretching or something else. So you've got slices. And I guess this can be very difficult when you've got um, loops that include 16th notes or something else, or when you cut the reverb tail. So here, it seems to work, but better, let's go to 120. And let's try some of the loops all together. I just press uh, four keys. Very interesting because it's not the normal epic trailer sound like or triples or something like this. Uh, for me, it sounds like you can choose some elements and fill up your own grooves. So I guess I, I wouldn't create a beat just using these loops, but they can give you a great sound and, and fill it up and give you some additional dirt. So here we've got the rooms and space tones. So let's try things. Try something. I choose uh, this one, the step sequencer, and let's do this. Let's try it. Okay, now we go to here. I want to shorten it. 
random sample start. And now we, we, we change the pitch here. Well, can be a lot of fun. So let's go to the next one. Here we've got bass and Brahms. I guess now you are awake. Yes, this is fat and screaming. Let's try the brass and Brahms. Oh, the, the first one was Devastator Brahms. Now we got the brass Brahms. Similar again, but I like it. So here are the signature Brahms. And let's go to the Brahm Benders. Yeah, okay, but for me it sounds just like the Brahms using pitch band and I guess I can do it on my own. So let's load in the Devastator Brahms and let's try the pitch wheel. And I want to use more of the pitch wheel. But how can we do it? There is nothing here. So let's go into this one, edit all groups. And we don't have to use uh, this one. And we go to here, change this one to 12 semitones. Yeah, so I can create my own Bender. Sometimes makes more fun. And uh, now we go to the next one. Let's try the signature. Here it is. <laughs> Did I hear some distortion in the sound? Okay, modern signature. Let's go further to the alarms and we try the soft version. Whoa. 
in my opinion, there could be less distortion. I know distortion is is great, but I would would like to have my own distortion and decide how much distortion I use. And sometimes I don't know, is it a mistake? Is it a wanted effect? And here is a great patch called Tenet Pulse Mode. You've got the same sounds using soft or full spectrum, but now using the rhythm. Great idea. This can make a lot of fun. Next are the resonances. Let's try uh, try the low resonation one. Yeah, here we got some really, really nice, badass, slow sounds. Now we've got the slow motion sounds. It's a funny name for this category because for me it sounds more science, a science fiction or Transformers. And not very slow, but interesting sounds. Here are downers. Never heard them. What's going on here? It just stops, so let's try to start from here. But here it doesn't work. Strange. Okay, just one strange sample. And here are the reversed effects. And some didn't have a fade out at the end, so you hear the little click at the end. But the other one is perfect. Well, just uh, render in place, create a WAV file, and then do your own fade out. And the great thing is that you have all the samples in the folder from Devastator Breakout. You have all the samples in WAV format. So you don't have just to use uh, render in place or something like, like this to create an audio file. Just try all the WAV files and drag and drop them into your DAW. Now we've got the TikToks and we choose part one.
let's try the elements because they are not filled up so much. I like it very much because it's not just sounding like a clock and it's very, very great to, to use a clock instead of a hi-hat or as an additional sound, but sometimes they sound like a mixture of a clock and a marching band or a marching rhythm. So let's try the mid version. Yeah, so this can be a great tool. Let's go to the pulses and we start with the thumb pulses. So some have got a constant rhythm and other one are having a crescendo and decrescendo. Let's try the hybrid version. And I change the tempo. Seems to work. And uh, we go to the next folder. Toner loops, bass and Brahms loops. Why don't I see the waveform? Well, I thought I get something else. Um, for me, it just sounds like somebody played some some Brahms, uh, pressed some some different keys. So it has a great sound for me. But I would like to do this on my own and, and choose my my own sounds, my own rhythm, change the pitch and and more. So let's try with the sign elements. Okay, and we've got the playable. So we've got bass, bass effects, effects leads, band lead, and so on. Let's try the bass one. And here we can choose different sounds. Let's stay at number five. Now we are polyphonic. Uh, let's go to mono. But I like more glide.
And now let some effects. No, not the flanger. I want to have, let's do this. I want to have, first of all, a chorus. Do we have a chorus effect? Here it is. And now we add the filter. Yeah, so here we can have great sounds. Let's try guitar plug. And what's great here, you can see in the waveform that we are playing just one instrument, but playing different samples. So I guess you can see this one is bigger. This one is smaller. So we've got mighty samples here and this is great. Let's try the cinematic synth plugs. And here you can see it too in the waveform. And let's try something at the rhythm because now I'm just using the step, sync, step sequencer. And I'm playing a chord. So can we reduce the reverb? Yes. And I don't want to have play R, we can use it as an up. Or this one, but now the great thing is we got the advanced one. So here we've got uh, a chord. And I'm pressing now three keys. And let's say I want to press uh, five keys. And now I want to have the key one, three, five, key one, two, five, one, two, five, one, four, five. One, uh, four, five, one, three, five, one, two, five, one, four, five. So you can create your own melody and more. Let's try randomize.
fine. Let's go to the grid and move it to the top. So let's try it. Uh, let's take away this one. Okay, as, as you can see, I'm not getting this one as a MIDI file, um, just what's included in the step sequencer in um, the pitch. Okay, so let's go to the last pitch in the core version. It's called drag and drop. And there is nearly nothing, it's just one sound. But now we go to the file menu, and here is another Keep Forest library, Aza X series, the free tri pack. And now I choose this one. I drag and drop it to here, and now I say I want to replace this sample. I choose another one and say add new. Now you see here is the new sample. Let's do it again, add another sample, and we are just using white keys. Is from hit working now? No, it's not because here uh, it's not saved at which sample start point the hit is. So you got to do it on your own. And this is great because now you can use your own patches and then use the effects or the rhythm. And that's the core version. Now let's go to the pro version. Here we just have one patch, but you can do a lot of things in it. You see, we've got another interface, the blue one. Just let's try some keys. Nothing is happening. Oh, uh, <laughs> that was uh, the wrong key. Okay, here we've got several kits and every kit includes seven scenes. The scenes are here at the bottom at the keyboard. And you see we've got eight layers or we can say eight uh, elements or units. So this is one layer and every layer includes eight elements. We can play them solo. Or we can mute them and change the volume and turn them off. So let's try this one again, another scene. And here at the bottom, we've got the timeline. You can say it's a sequencer. And we've got this sound here at the beginning. No, it's not the beginning. Uh, let's try this one. And we want to have it on its own. I guess this one is the first hit. And here we can say 
where do you want to start? Start a timeline at the beginning, or you want to have a delay of one bar. Never would you use this, but we have the choice and we can start from the first sample. Makes sense when we do this. Or we want to start from the first hit. So when I start from the first sample, we've got this pad sound. But I want to start with another first hit. Sometimes it worked, now it doesn't. I don't know why. And we've got Delay here, some reverb, and we can quantize this one. But the craziest thing is, I guess, um, it's it's not about musical, like bars um, or something like this. It's about the seconds, right? So, I don't know, is this the second, uh, second, fourth, second, six, or is it the, the bar? Okay, so here I can return to the original position. And here we can use the randomize feature, but it's just doing a little bit, not very much, more like a humanize feature. And this button, cut to hit, uh, yeah, I, I've read the manual, but I couldn't find what it's doing. So do you want to do this and then it's moving, no, or this, so I guess nothing happens here or here, no, perhaps I'm too stupid, perhaps you got the solution, when you know more, please leave a comment, I would like to know it, okay. And let's go further because we've got more to explore. Here are the names of the samples. So let's try another scene. And here I can choose the sound. So you see, there are a lot of things to choose from and here. And it goes on and on. So uh, let's try another sound here. I want to have this sound. Okay, and we can add the sound more. I can go to here and now we can change the volume. But uh, let's go deeper. So at every sound, we can choose or change the filter, the pitch, and uh, let's turn it solo. And now we can change the panorama or we use the tables. So you see, I had the volume table here. Let's go to here, start from the beginning. Now 
I can choose the panning here. Or choose the table. And here is the old, old table. I can use this one. Or instead of this, do this. So now it doesn't matter what you set to this knob. Yeah. And we can change the direction. Now it's forward. Let's turn it to reverse. And you see it takes a lot of time. So here is the sample start point and sample end points. Let's go and move this one. I don't know what it takes so much time now. Let's try it again. Yeah, just had to move it a second time. So, and you can use randomize here again. Here is a randomize button, but let's go to here. What is going on at randomize? Here you can choose, do you want to randomize all of the units or just uh, the first one and uh, two knots, three knots, but only the other ones and say, okay, we want to have the hits, but not the epic tides and uh, the white hits and not the far hits and the Brahms, please, no one. And the hits, yes, the organic hits 100%, the booms, let's say 78% elements, just let's say 10%. Okay, and now let's try it. We want to create a whole new kit. So we've got seven new scenes. Yes, let's try them. And I guess you can see this moving point here. Let's explore this one. Sometimes you get funny results. So this one is little crossfader. Let's try it. Okay, and now I can record this movement. And it's done. Let's do another version. And now I want to change the tune. And we record it. And let's do something strange with the filter. Now I want to create a short one and then we loop it. Okay, let's deactivate it. And here we can change the um, placement of the seats. So when a scene, I guess when a scene is more in the mid, 
it sounds more close and here it sounds more far away. Let's let's try it. So yeah, something changed, but sometimes it sounds more the the volume is changing or the ADSR, some settings like this, but it's not like you change the positioning at a stage. But for me, it's it's okay. I never wanted to have things like this, and you see the settings are now the same. Uh, he here the volume. So I guess this can change the the sound, and you can have some sounds here. Let's do this, and some sounds here, and sounds here. Let's try it. Well, did it change? Oh, I guess I've I've played the wrong key. Well, uh, this doesn't matter. Let's do this one. Yeah, now it makes sense. Okay, so this was a review of Devastator Breakout Pro. And let's have a look at the price. You can get the Pro version, no, the, the Core version for $299, and the Pro version for $399. So I guess it's a great lorry when you want to compose trailer music, the epic stuff, the hard stuff. This is a great tool for this. So what's your opinion? Do you like the sounds? Do you want to purchase this lorry or do you just purchase it? And what is your opinion? What is your experience? So just give a comment and see you the next time. Bye.